good morning my dear students so students in the last class we have finished revising the poem named rain in summer and with it we have also finished our revision of all the chapters which has been included in part a book so that's why students today we are proceeding to our starting our part b book and today i am going to discuss with you all the very first chapter from the part b book which is named as fear play now students at first let me read out the story for all of you fear play Juman Sheikh and Algu Chaudhry were good friends. So strong was their bond of friendship that when either of them went away from the village, the other looked after his family. Both were greatly respected in the village. Juman had an old aunt who had some property. this she transferred to juman on the understanding that she would stay with him and he would look after her the agreement worked well for a couple of years then the situation changed juman and his family were tired of the old relative juman became indifferent to her while has his wife grudged even the little food that the old lady wanted every day the old lady swallowed these insults along with her food for a few months but patience has its limits one day she spoke to juman my son It is now clear that I am not wanted in your house. Kindly give me a monthly allowance so that I can set up a separate kitchen. My wife knows best how to run the house. Be patient, say Juman shamelessly. this made his aunt very angry and she decided to take her case to the village panchayat so student today we shall read only this uh, few paragraphs from the story and the later parts of the paragraphs we shall read tomorrow now student let me give you a short summary of the paragraphs that we have read from the story today so student this story it is about two friends and their names were juman sheikh and alku chaudhry and they were best friends and their strong friendship was so much good uh, in the extent that if either of them went away from the village the other looked after his family means if juman goes outside of the village then algu look, uh, looked after juman's family on the other hand if algu went outside of the village then juman looked after algu's family and both of them juman and algu they were greatly respected in their village now juman sheikh he had an old aunt with some property one day the aunt transfer her property to juman with one condition that 
she will transfer her property to Juman. But on the other hand, Juman has to look after her and give her food also. And Juman also agreed to her proposal. And this agreement, this agreement worked for few years well. But after a few years, there started some tensions between the households and Juman's aunt. As Juman and his family got tired of his aunt. That's why Juman's wife, she used to insult her his aunt a lot. And she even grudged. Means she even did not want to give her the little food that that old lady need. So for a couple of months, the aunt, she just tolerated all those insults. But one day she broke her patience and she spoke to Jamman about all these incidents. She also told him to give him some monthly allowance so that she could set up a separate kitchen for her as Jumman's family no more wanted her in their family. But Jumman she did not agree to her sorry he did not agree to her he didn't want to give her any allowance on the instead he told her that his wife knows how to run the house properly and instead of scolding or telling her wife regarding this matter uh, instead of suggesting her wife to end this quarrel or to not to insult the aunt he told his aunt to keep some patience this made his aunt very much angry and now she decided to take her case to the village panchayat so uh, village panchayat means student now uh, in the town area in the uh, if someone have any case any trouble the direct goes to the police station but in villages in remote areas there are um, system of panchayats panchayat is a village council and if you take your case to the panchayat they will look after it and they will try to solve the problems so that's why the aunt she decided to take her case to the panchayat as juman was not ready to give her uh, monthly allowance so student this much we have discussed today and i hope that you all have understood well the story but still students if you have any doubts you can comment me in the below, uh, the comment section which is given below now students let me give you the important word meanings from these few paragraphs. And the first meaning is grudged, which means thought that somebody does not deserve to have something expected. The number two is swallowed, which means cause or allowed to pass down the throat. And number C is panchayat, which means a village council. So these are the few important word meanings. If you have any more uh, word which you found find difficult, you may uh, tell me in the comment section. Now student, for today's class, you can see this is your home assignment. So I have given one question as your home assignment. Please try to do it by yourself. Uh, but after a few days, I will give the answer of this home assignment. So, student, this is the end of our today's class. Again, 
we shall meet tomorrow with the latter parts of the story and in tomorrow we shall see that what happened to the case that juman's aunt gave to the panchayat so student thank you so much